Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see by the blog entry, Polish bishops are calling for a total ban on Sunday shopping. And I just got word from a brother in the faith that lives in Poland, and he's the one that sent me this article. Uh, they also plan to enforce the ban starting January 1st of 2018. And no, this is not yet the enforcement of the Mark of the Beast, but it is a major stepping stone in that direction. As we just saw in a video I just made and then posted on YouTube yesterday titled One Million to Pray Rosary on Polish Border, as prophesied, Rome is doing all they can to normalize paganism in the minds of billions of people so as to make Catholicism to appear as moral, when in fact, Catholicism is not a Bible-believing religion. Having millions openly pray using pagan prayer beads in public to having the entire nation of Poland to close their businesses on the ancient day of worship for the pagan sun god Baal is nothing more than a show of force on Satan's part. He knows his time is short, and at the same time, he also knows he has most souls on earth in his camp. So, just as in Noah's day, most are going to believe the lies that he spews over the truth as it is written. And for those of you that think you would never agree to embrace pagan rituals as the norm, I implore you to double check your current holiday activities a bit more. Not only has Rome moved all Christian churches to keep Sunday holy, they have also moved them to take part in pagan rituals most people now call Christmas and Easter. But those of us that study prophecy know Sunday laws will be enforced in the United States first. But what many fail to realize is how the powers that be must first normalize this open act of rebellion against the Creator God, the Christian God, by declaring a day of worship that He never sanctified. And they must do this worldwide. And yes, I am very aware most Christians have no idea how they are already in bed with Rome on this one. And so, yes, our work is cut out for us as we proclaim that loud cry prophecy speaks of. But for those of you that are Christian who keep Sunday holy, I implore you to please read your Bibles and you will see that the Lord declared in both the Old and New Testaments that the Seventh-day Sabbath has been the Lord's holy day of worship ever since he created angels who kept his law in heaven long before mankind was ever even created. I mean, seriously, think about it. How else would Satan fall unless he sinned? And sin is transgression of the law, right? But as we all know, prophecy must be fulfilled, and so this will still happen. And the overwhelming majority of the Christians are going to ignore all this and receive the mark just as easily as they agree to dress up their Christmas trees and Easter eggs. And for those of you that think I need to sit for a fitting for a tinfoil bonnet on this one, check out my Sabbath attack page when you get time. I have well over a thousand videos articles, and doc files proving the Roman Catholic popes are doing everything they can to push Sunday laws globally, just as prophecy said they would. So if it's a bogus prophecy, why are they doing exactly as the Bible said they would do? In fact, they have gone so far as to declare a Nazi war criminal, Pope John Paul II, a saint, so as to have him supposedly speak from heaven very soon. And he's going to do it via his Dios Domini, wherein he declared in writing, and I quote, Christians will naturally strive to ensure that civil legislation respects their duty to keep Sunday holy. And so, yes, Sunday laws are in fact prophesied. And according to the Roman Catholic Church, they admit in writing that Sunday Sabbath is their mark, just as the Bible said they would. See the quotes and doc files confirming that on my Mark of the Beast page when you get time. And if you still think this is all a prophetic pipe dream of crazed students of prophecy seeking an audience, besides the fact that the majority of all Christian churches already keep Sunday holy without a single Bible verse to back up their Roman invention of Sunday Sabbath, and by the way, Rome admitted that in writing that they invented Sunday keeping. There's not a single Bible verse from Genesis to Revelation to back it up. But were you also aware that the Jews already agreed to keep Sunday holy for the Pope as well as desecrate the true Sabbath that they've been keeping for thousands of years as of April 21st of this year. And were you also aware that the Seventh-day Adventist Church has dozens of Sunday-keeping churches? And their conference leaders declared is no big deal. I did a video about that, in fact. It's no big deal, they say, for them to keep Sunday holy. And the reason I mentioned the Jews and the SDAs is because they are known to keep the real Sabbath. 
And most people think there's no way they're going to make Sunday laws because we got a bunch of people out there keeping the real Sabbath. Well, not anymore. Just the remnant of her seed are keeping it properly. Christian prophecy is going to be fulfilled no matter if you're ready or not. But it is the prayer of this ministry that you do, in fact, get ready to meet the Lord Jesus very soon. Thank you for watching. God bless.